Hey everybody, hopefully really quick, I want to take an update video. Earlier this year, we may have posted a video talking about feeding hay during a drought. Um, those of you who have been following us know our sheep had free reign of this place uh, for about a year and a half. And actually at the beginning of that, we also had cattle. We weren't rotating, we were just burnt out. It set our pastures back. Then we had a drought in the spring, which really set our pastures back. Uh, so I found myself feeding around bale here and there, <laughs> actually in, I think it was June, some in July and a bunch in August. We were standing in a paddock that was very, very, very sparsely vegetated. And I wanted more impact. So you can see we still have some brown stems. We'd never bush all this piece this year. Um, as compared to some of our other pieces looking a little more manicured. But I bought a pre-mix blend of cover crops. I forget where it was, Walnut Creek or Welter Seed or even the local feed mill. But in it, I can see tilled radish, uh, some sort of brassica, kale, uh, and maybe a uh, cereal grain, um, wheat or rye. I can't quite tell. Um, but I want to stress the importance. This is bad soil, compacted, dry, low organic matter. That hay was incredibly crucial to the success of the cover crop. And to prove my point, I want you to guess. Now I put the seed all over this paddock, up in this region at least. I want you to guess where, you can actually see some of the hay, I rolled out that round bale. Now some of you may be thinking, I aimed for the bare spots with the round bale, which I did, and therefore I aimed there with the seed, which I did. But it wasn't exclusively there. So you can see, I went up here, turned, and then came this way. To prove my point, I wanna show you how much smaller the same species are where there was no hay put down. So you can see how tiny everything is where there was no hay. That hay acted as mulch, moisture retention, moisture control, evaporation reduction, uh, fertility, temperature, swing modulation, you wanna name every fancy word you can. Basically, mulch or in the regenerative grazing world or holistic plant grazing world thatch type one in contact with the ground and type two which are both needed in a humid environment are crucial to getting the seed bank to waken up wake up now i sped up the process by putting down a cover crop having the animals trampling in hay on top of that um I think I even watered it once or twice. And I again, I watered this entire space. But the difference being, here's a good example. Um, the difference being that hay. This was recently grazed. But I did put in some of these areas. I'm trying to find it. There it is. I put in a lot of the same mixture. This looks like a whole bunch of tillage radish, if I'm honest. Um, maybe for some reason I was running out and I went back and bought a bag. I can't remember now. <clears throat> but I am really, 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 really happy with these results. I need to get this bucket. And I know you can't tell, but... The last rotation through this pen, this uh, whole field, we skipped this pen and the next pen. And it is because of these cover crops. This tillage radish without hay is doing so well because of the mulch we put down to help this pear tree. I thought I put some in this pen. But I don't remember where all the thin spots were. Anyway, um, if anyone has any questions, comment below. Thank you.